Genesis 12. Now, the Lord said to Abram, Go forth from your country, and from your relatives, and from your father's house, to the land which I will show you, and I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, and so you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you, and the ones who curse you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. So, Abraham went forth. He went forth as the Lord had spoken to him. And Lot went with him. Verse 5. Abram so, sorry Lot went with him now Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran 75 years old Abram took Sarai his wife and Lot his nephew and all their possessions which they had accumulated and the persons which they had acquired in Haran and they set out for the land of Canaan. Thus they came to the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land as far as the site of Shechem, to the oak of Morah. Now the Canaanite was then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. Then he proceeded from there to the mountain on the east of Bethel. On the east of Bethel. And pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And there he built and altered the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. When, that's what the Bible says, when you seek you shall find, ask, it shall be given to you. That's what he's doing. He's seeking, he's asking, he's knocking. Then he proceeded from there to the mountain. Uh, then he proceeded there from the mountain, Bethel, Ai. He called upon the name of the Lord. Verse 9, Abram journeyed on, continuing toward the Negev. Now there was a famine in the land. So Abram went down to Egypt to sojourn there, for the famine was severe in the land. It came about when he came near to Egypt that he said to Sarai his wife, See now that I know you are a beautiful woman, and when the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will let you live. Please say that. You are my sister, so that it may go well with me because of you, and that I may live on account of you. It came about, when Abram came into Egypt, the Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. Pharaoh's officials saw her and praised her to Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. Therefore he treated Abram well for her sake, and gave him sheep and oxen and donkeys and male and female servants and female donkeys and camels. But the Lord struck Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. Then Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say to me she is my sister, so that I took her for my wife? Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they escorted him and his wife and all that belonged to him. Now, I'm gonna go, I gotta go check on the stove. So, chapter 
13, Genesis 13. So Abram went up from Egypt to the Negev, he and his wife and all that belonged to him, and Lot with him. Now Abram was very rich in livestock and silver and in gold. He went on his journeys from the Negev as far as Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai. To the place of the altar which he had made there formerly. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. Now Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents. And the land could not sustain them while dwelling together. For their possessions were so great that they were not able to remain together. And there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. And the herdsmen of... Okay, no. <laughs> now the Canaanite and the Perizzite were dwelling then in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me, nor between my herdsmen and your herdsmen. For we are brothers. Is not the whole land before you? Please separate from me. If to the left, then I will go to the right. Or if to the right, then I will go to the left. Lot lifted up his eyes and saw all the valley of the Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go to Zoar. So Lot chose himself all the valley of the Jordan, and Lot journeyed eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram settled in the land of Canaan while Lot settled in the cities of the valley and moved his tents as far as Sodom. Now the men of Sodom were wicked exceedingly and sinners against the Lord. We got to remember that David said, I have sinned against you and you alone. When we're sinners, we sin against the Lord. Sexual sin against our own bodies. Now the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had separated from him, Now lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward, for all the land which you see I will give it to you and to your descendants forever. I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if anyone can number the dust of the earth, then your descendants may, can also be numbered. Arise, walk around the land through its length and its breadth, for I will give it to you. Then Abram moved his tent and came and dwelt by the oaks of Mamre, which are in Hebron. And there he built an altar to the Lord. Now, I'm just remembering I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, also as the stars of the sky, the dust of the earth. Someone said, you can number the dust of the earth. They've done it. Well, the idea is it's an immense number, and you can't number it. There is absolutely no way. You can estimate. You're never going to truly number it. Um, so you can't, you can't play I got you with God uh, there or anywhere else. But, yeah. No. It's getting late. I'm going to pause here.